Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is part 9 of the inventory tutorial series that I'm doing in this channel and in this part we're going to create the final widget that we need for this section to work. So we're going to create the inventories widget. So in the last episode we created the player inventory widget. So now we're going to create like the main widget, the master widget. So the WB inventories widget that will hold the player inventory and every other inventory that we have in the game so we're going to create this widget in this episode and this will be the final widget so we can continue with the inventory component itself but before if you do like this video please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content that i'll be posting in this channel and without further ado let's start okay so let's go to the widgets folder inventory and here let's create the inventories widget so right click go to uh, user interface widget blueprint select user widget and here let's name this wb inventories um, like this let's open this and start editing this so basically this will be the main widget for all the inventories so let's start with a canvas panel let's uh, search for canvas here and just get the canvas and add here in the inventories so this is this uh, the size of the screen so now let's add um, the players inventory that we created in the last episode so just search for WB layer inventory so let's add this in the canvas panel like this as you can see we have the inventory here but let's change the properties so just select here and let's change a little bit the transform so first the anchors here I'm gonna put this in the middle left side of the screen so to do this hold ctrl and shift on the keyboard and click in this left anchor here like this so we have the uh, the inventory here so now let's uh, change the size x and the size Y so for the size X I will put uh, 760 like this and for the size Y um, I will put 800 so here in the size Y just type 800 like this so we have the inventory here um, and for the position X let's put 95 like this so basically I want to have the player inventory in the left side of the screen and of course later in the series we're gonna put the general inventory so basically the widget that will display all other inventories uh, in the right side so in this part here but for now we only have the player inventory and as you can see we have this slots container here and we have the main slots container width and main slots container height that we defined in the last episode so now we can change these values you just need to select of course the play inventory and you will see these values here let's just increase um, a little bit this and as you can see as we increase we are seeing the changes in the screen so let's just put uh, maybe 735 like this and for the height let's just increase a little bit so maybe 250 like this so there we go now we have um, the the player inventory in this main inventories widget that we're going to create in the screen so now let's add just um, some custom events that so we can control the uh, player inventory so now let's go to the graph okay so let's go to the graph here and first we need to set um, the player inventory so we have this player inventory widget here and in this player inventory we actually have the inventory variable so let me open here so you can see let's open the player inventory widget let's go to the graph and as you can see we have the main inventory uh, variable here and we have the custom event to set this inventory so we need to create a custom event on the inventories as well so we can set uh, this variable through the code uh, in the HUD class that we created um, earlier in the series. So let's go to the graph here. Um, let's delete these events here in the inventories widget, right? So here let's right click and type custom event to add a custom event. And I will name this set main layer um, inventory like this and this of course needs um, an input so the inventory that we're going to set 
So let's select this custom event here in the input. Let's add one and let's type inventory here like this. And of course, the type would be the type of the components that we created. So BPC inventory like this object reference. Let's compile and save and let's continue with this. So as you can see here in the player inventory, we have uh, already defined a custom event to set this. So here in the inventories, we just need to uh, call uh, the reference for this. So this WB player inventor, let's get the reference. And from here, we can just call the event. So set um, set main inventory, this one. Let's call this, let's connect the execution pin and let's of course connect the inventory here. Okay, so this is the communication that we need to do. So basically, we're gonna call this set main player um, inventory in the HUD class when we need, of course. And this event will call the set main inventory in the player inventory widget, so this one. And this event will set the this variable here, the main inventor, inside the player inventor. And this event will set the inventor as well in the slots container. So this is basically the communication. Uh, we're gonna call the um, this function in the inventories that will call the function in the player inventory that will call the function in the main slots inventory that will set in each slot. So this is basically it for this function. So let's comment here um, setting main inventory for the player like this. Um, so now we just need to create one more event for this part to work. So let's compile and save and create the other event. Okay, so the other event that we need to create is an event to update the player inventory slots. So this will be really simple because we already did this in the player inventory. We have the function here. We just need to call this function here in the inventories as well. So here let's right click and type custom event like this. And I will name this update uh, player main inventory like this update player main inventory um, and from this we just need to call the same reference here so let me just copy this reference here of course you can copy by pressing ctrl c and paste pressing ctrl, ctrl v like this and from this we just need to call this update main slots so let's drag here and type update main slots like this and let's connect here so this is basically it uh, we don't need to do nothing more here, so let's uh, select this and comment update layer main inventory like this. There we go. So this is basically it. We just need to do this because, of course, all the code we do um, in the widget itself, we did in the widget itself. So here we are just calling the events that we need to call. So this is basically it for this part. Okay, so to be clear, let me explain why I'm creating the WB Inventories widget. So let's go to the design here so I can explain better. So basically, this is a single widget that will hold the player inventory widget and the general inventory widget. So the general inventory widget is something that we're going to create uh, in the next part of the, the series. So later in the series, we're going to create a general inventory widget that will display every other inventory but the player. So basically, we'll display the storage inventory, the loot inventory, a store inventory. Basically, anything that has a inventory uh, will be displayed in this right side of the screen and the player event will be displayed in the left side of the screen. So basically, I'm putting these two main inventories in one widget uh, to make our life easier. Because when we open a, uh, a chest, for example, we need to open the chest inventory in the, uh, in the right side of the screen, right? And of course, we need to open the player inventory as well. And we need to interact with both of these widgets. So we need both of these widgets to be on focus. And the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is putting the, these two widgets in one bigger widget. And we just need to uh, focus on this inventories widget 
and we will have the focus on the player inventory and on the general inventory that will be in the right side of the screen. So this is basically why I'm creating these inventories here and of course the communication I think will be better because all the events that we need to do, that we need to call, all the operations that we need to do with the player inventory or with the any other inventory will be in this graph here. So basically only in one place. So we just need to have one reference. So this is basically why I'm creating this WB inventories to make our life easier to have the code um, organized. So it's better for us to maintain in the future if we are actually putting this in an actual game. So this is basically why I'm creating um, this widget here. So now all the widgets that we need for this to work are created. So now in the next episode we can create, uh, we can start adding this in the screen with gameplay. So there you go. And this is basically it for this episode. This is a shorter episode, but we needed to create this widget so we have all this system working um, with the widgets. So now we can start uh, adding this in the HUD class and of course in the screen so we can interact with these widgets. So if you do like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content. And as always, Thank you for watching, keep learning and I'll see you in the next episode.